Hi, welcome to this presentation on Autodesk Human IK. Human IK is an animation middleware solution for creating highly believable interactive character animation for games and simulations. Human IK gives game animation teams three key benefits more realistic runtime character animation, less animation grunt work through runtime procedural motion adaptation and retargeting, and more efficient use of animation data with less technical overheads. Let's take a look at what HumanIK can do. In this demo, we have one of the most basic uses of HumanIK. In many games, characters tend to float on a surface because the character has been placed and animated with no concept of where its feet should be. If a character needs to walk on an uneven terrain of stairs, we end up with a big problem. With HumanIK turned on, you can see how the character's feet are placed firmly on the ground. We can move the ground plane around and dynamically, the feet will always position themselves correctly on the terrain. We do this through what's known as procedural motion adaptation. This is where we position the character procedurally at runtime. In this next demo, we have a basic climbing animation and three ladders of different rung spacing. Note that there is only one animation and it has been produced for one specific ladder. Now what if we wanted to use the same animation on a different ladder? In many game productions, animators have to create every combination of animation for basic character interactions. In this case, we would have to create three different animations, not with Human IK. Human IK frees animators by using procedural motion adaptation and retargeting, so we can simply use Human IK to reposition the character's limbs for the different ladders. With Human IK, artists are free to create more interesting environments with varied designs and characters can interact with the environment realistically and efficiently. So how does Human IK work? Human IK uses a lightweight runtime full body IK rig. This means that when we move an effector, the entire body moves to contribute to that effect. For example, when we move just a hip effector on the robo dummy, we see its entire body move. It is important to note that the Human IK rig is set up to be biomechanically correct so that movements appear to be realistic. This next demo shows how we can layer the different procedural effects. We have set up a basic walk cycle animation and a look at Human IK controller. This controller turns the character's head to look at a barrel as it flies past. Now if we threw a barrel at the character, notice how it attempts to dodge the barrel while looking at it. We do this with another controller which defines the dodge movement. This layering allows you to create complex yet realistic interactive character animations at runtime. Now is also a good time to introduce retargeting. Retargeting simply means that we can take the same animation data, in this case the walk cycle as well as the human IK effects, and retarget them onto a different rig. In this case, I've retargeted the animation onto Edward, who is a differently proportioned character. Note that I am still using all the same animation data as the robo dummy, so we're actually being very efficient in terms of animation data usage. This is useful for games where you have many characters and may want to use the same animation data on them to be efficient. So let's put all this together for another demo. Here we have a robo dummy with an idle animation. Let's add a guitar. Note that everything here is procedural. The character is holding the guitar and all animation is procedurally based on user interactions. We can press the buttons and the character's fingers move. We can raise the guitar and it moves with it. We can also retarget onto a different character with different proportions and it still works exactly the same way. With Human IK, we can make use of procedural motion adaptation and retargeting to achieve more realistic interactive character animations at runtime with greater efficiency. This has been a very quick demonstration of some of the highlights of Human IK. If you have any questions or would like to arrange for an evaluation, please contact us at middleware at autodesk.com. We look forward to hearing from you.